Hey gang, today we're going to check out our latest template, Responsive. It's our very first responsive template for Joomla 2.5 and 3.0. So as you see, we've got a nice slideshow here, and this is rendered with our Deluxe News Pro module. Uh, we've got a great menu styling. Then we've got a wonderful new addition. Uh, this is Joomla content right here. We're not using any module to display this custom layout. This is actually now Joomla content. So we go down here, we've got a custom HTML module with our call to action, and then we have our Deluxe News Pro here with some nice CSS3 integration. And of course, bottom menu links. So let's go back and look at this layout that we have here. As you see, this is the component on the home page with the featured articles. For this template, we have several different layouts you can have. This is the left featured, so let's go look at these here. It's under J content, content layouts, and let's look at the right featured. The right featured has the first featured article here, and then two smaller ones to the left. And this is your leading articles, and down here you have your intro articles. And to get this layout, all you have to do is go into your menu link and add right large as the page class. So let's go look and see how we do that. We're going to go over here to the administrator. We're going to go to our main menu manager. And we're going to go down here to the right featured. Once this opens up, we're going to go over here to the page display options. And you see the page class here. You just type in right large there, and that gives you that layout. So let's go back and check the other layouts. We have the center featured with it in the center. And then we have what we're using on the home page, the left featured. And now let's take a look at something new we also added with our content overrides. These are called article sidebars. One of the main problems with Joomla a lot of the time is let's say that you want to have a right module position only on the article pages, but for some reason when you create a menu link to the category and you set it for the right, you've got a right module on the category and on the article, and there's no way to turn it off just for the category. So we've included what we called sidebar left and sidebar right. So what you need to do to use this is go into your module manager and then publish any module you want in sidebar left or sidebar right. So let's go take a look at sidebar right. And what we're doing here in our template is we've selected all. for all the pages, but then we decided we're going to put it on all pages except those selected because we don't want it on certain pages. So it's going to be shown on all the article pages in the right column other than these pages. And that's nice and simple, so that's going to save you a lot of time and headaches working with Joomla. So now let's go back and check out the other features of the template. And like I said in the beginning, we do have a responsive template. So let's see how this renders on several different devices. So here we've got the iPhone 3 and 4. And we're going to take a look. And as you see, all the content adjusts and looks beautiful on the iPhone. Now let's check out a couple more views. Uh, here's the landscape mode again. Looking great in landscape. And let's see what we're going to look like on an iPad. So as you see, there's really no need to have a mobile template 
any longer, but we did include a mobile template with it in case that you wanted to have a different layout for your mobile device. And now we'll go back to the site. And let me explain a few things here. In the main menu, we're using our X menu to render the subtext underneath. And all you have to do to create the subtext is go to your menu manager. And when you make your link, your title, you go ahead and use the XM before and the close slash XM after and that will render the subtext underneath the main menu title. And in the top right position here, this is a custom HTML module with links for social networking. So you can just open that custom HTML module in the top position and add your links in there for your social networking. The menu is handled by our backend template administrator where you can just select which logo you'd want to use and you're done. Now let's look at this NewsPro layout. What we're doing here for the NewsPro layout is here's our article image, here's our category image, here's our category name, this is the title, intro text, and then we have the read more and we're linking to the category for more like this. And this is in the inset position. As well as in the inset position we've put a little call to action here and this is just done with custom HTML module so you can edit it easily and here we have our user one position and we've put the breadcrumb in it and this is our component and we go down here and we have our it's time to and this is another call to action and this is just another custom HTML module and like I said before this is our deluxe news pro with CSS3 effects so as you see, we've got our image, our title, our intro text, and read more. So now let's jump over to the template administrator and take a quick look. So we're going to go extensions, template manager, and open responsive. Now we have our global settings and this is for your layout. You can either select the default layout or the mobile. And this is the mobile device detection. If you want to use the mobile layout, then you'll have it enabled. If you don't want to use the mobile layout and just the full responsive, just disable it. Now we have our layout settings. And this is the default. So as default, we're going to use our default grid style. Our template style is one. You can select one through six here and our Typography is set to default. As you can see, you have your mobile settings here as well. In the grid settings, you know, we have our main wrap width, and this is the main wrap width, outer width. Then we have the padding for the regions here, and then we have our left and right width. And now this is all done with the bootstrap approach with a different span. So you, you're going to have 3 to 12. It runs a 12 column. If you look at our documentation online, this explains it a lot better. We're going to just be very basic here in this tutorial just to get you through it. So let's go down here to the style settings. And we have six styles in this template. So let's look at style one. And it's broken down into about six areas here. We've got the body, and this is your overall background color for your website, the overall background image, and the image position. And this is the color scheme. So basically all the colors you're seeing on the front end that are the blue can be changed right here by changing this color. And we have eight base colors. We go over this in detail in the documentation as well. So now we have our header and this is the header wrap background color and the header defines the top area of the website where the menu is. And we have a wrap image and this wrap means it goes from the full left to the full right. And then we have the background color and background image and that is for your wrapper width. And as we said before, up here in the grid, you've got your main wrap width. So what you need to know about 
the settings here is the outside wrap is full width and the inner is whatever you set for your main website width. And here's your website logo image. Very easy to upload your own image. You just upload it to the templates folder inside the responsive folder inside of images slash logos. And then you can go ahead and select it from the drop down here. And here you can set your custom logo width, height, and padding. Here's your menu. You can select a background color, the item background color for each item, the hover, active, and the fonts. Here's the drop down level for your drop downs, all basically the same. Now we have the regions. In this template, we have nine regions. And you can set the wrap background and the background. And now we're going to go down to the module. This is your basic module style. This is the default module, so you can set a background color, a title background color. You can have an icon, and you can change the first word and the second and the rest of the words color. And in our typography, we have all the typography settings here, such as the body, the main text body color, the page title color, your article title color, and H's 1 through 6, and your global links. Then if we open the typography settings, you'll see this is where we set the pixels or the EMs for the height of each font size. So if you want a font size of 12 picks for the main menu, change it here, 6, text direction, left and right. So basically all your font sizes are done here in the typography settings. And now in the advanced settings, we have the CSS mode. You can load the CSS as separate files. You can load single file or you can do head embedding. You have your CSS compression, turn it on or off, and then you have your front page components. Now the front page components will allow you to not show any components on the home page. So if you don't want to have your com content shown on the home page, you just want to use a module, you can select no components. If you want all components to show, or you can just select certain components to show on the home page. This is very useful for your home page layout. And that's the basic overview of this template. You can go ahead and go to our documentation for more information about it, and that's found on JoomlaEcstasy.com in our documentation area under the support link. I hope you guys enjoy Responsive and look for some great new templates coming, and they're all going to be responsive.